Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm just going to show you a quick video on how to test the water in your pool. I got these test strips that you can use. This is a seven way test kit that tests a whole bunch of stuff on the side here. It'll tell you what it does and how to read the test strips. You can also use the liquid tests as well, but uh, I just filled this pool yesterday, ran the pump for a couple of hours, and now I'm just going to check the levels to see what all has to be adjusted. So. I'll do as the instructions say, we'll dip this a couple inches down, remove it immediately, and we'll read the results. It says not to shake it, so we'll just set this aside here. And give it just a minute. Now it's red like this, the first number is your total hardness, and that's kind of a dark purple, so you just have to match up the colors on the grid here to whatever color you're seeing on the test strip. So that's probably in the okay range, I think. Right about there, that looks good. The next one's total chlorine, I haven't added any chlorine yet, so that's showing a zero, which is accurate, that's good. Once I adjust my pH to the proper levels, I'll go ahead and add chlorine after that. You just, you have to adjust one thing at a time, that's key to this. So free chlorine, that's the third one, obviously that's also gone. pH, this has historically always been high. Our water here is very, acid, very alkaline, and our soil is very alkaline, so that is showing deep dark red, like 8.4. So. I have to drop my pH probably about a whole point down to about 7.4. So I've, I'll do a separate video on how to actually adjust the pH down. Total alkalinity, that's also very high. Cyanuric acid is a chlorine stabilizer, so that way your chlorine doesn't burn off as quickly. And we don't have any chlorine in there, so we really can't say, but um, that's showing in the ideal range, actually, because the only chlorine that I've got in here right now is those tablets. And the tablets, actually, are a stabilized form of chlorine. So I only put about five or six of those in to start the season, and then I add liquid chlorine after that, so that way I don't go too high. Because as you go higher with your cyanuric acid, you have to use more chlorine in order to actually balance things out. So your chlorine demand actually goes up as your cyanuric acid goes up. And so that's actually okay. So the only thing we really need to adjust here based on this reading is drop my pH about one full point. So I'll do a video on how to balance a pool at a later time. That's all I've got for today. If you found this useful, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.